So my dream is that um, is that we can have a world where any business that requires a solution or, or, or any business that has a problem that and, and needs that to be addressed, whether it be a funding gap, whether it be an expertise gap, um, is able to, and at every stage of their business life cycle, is able to access that solution. And, and is able to access that affordably with across the table with people that not only understand the, um, the money that that business is making but also the vision behind the impact that is trying to generate in the broader community. Also, I, and I think a, a critical thing is I, I, I wish for the world that one day in every organization that, that, that exists in the world, at the core of it, what is embedded is that everything that they do has to be done for the good of society. And I think that's a, a critical a way of thinking to make sure things are, remain sustainable and that the world develops in the right kind of way. Um, I did the Impact Investing in Africa course. Uh, two reasons is to, the first reason is being to network with other like-minded individuals and understand what uh, they're doing out in the space. And the second was to also broaden my own knowledge. Uh, the biggest tool or lesson, well, let me just start with tool. The biggest tool I receive is the content on uh, innovative finance. Um, the, the idea that you know, um, traditional capital likes to think of uh, investing in certain businesses uh, in almost a, a siloed or a siloed view with blinkers on. But when you look at the innovative finance uh, sort of module that you do there, you can see actually that. It's not always about, hey, this business doesn't generate the right EBITDA, but it's also about, well, let's structure where it's got the right impact and it has the right potential. But let's structure a way to do the transaction with a variety of different uh, parties who can put their money so that we can be comfortable with the risk level. And I think that was a big driving, a big tool for me to uh, predominantly around, thinking differently around financing especially in terms of the capital that I stood. What I learned a lot through that course was you've got to challenge the status quo. You know, you've got to bring in a different way of thinking. You've got to uh, uh, bring in uh, the fact that, you know what, we don't know everything the same way. It's easy for us to just put off the multiples and investment returns. It's easy, but in the impact space, understand that we can still generate those things, but we just need to think differently around businesses that we partner with, uh, the, maybe the organizations that we build and we put together and, and, the, and the metrics that we measure um, and also how we finance those businesses we have to think differently about it and you just even in the journey you still continuously have to put on your boxing gloves and challenge the status quo and that's I think the biggest thing that I've learned. I would recommend it because it was uh, very practical as a course. I mean a lot of the time you sit back and you're watching other people and you just sitting there and listening and it's very theoretical. Um, but the Impact Investing in Africa course was very much focused on bringing in actual practitioners, was very much focused on bringing people who live and breathe this environment on a day-to-day -day basis. And they communicated the challenges and the, and the successes that they've experienced. Um, and so I think just around that practical element, it was very good. So,